Welcome to another how to use and getting familiar with Stable Secretary, the mobile app. In this video, we will be showing you how to add breeding records. Adding breeding records is very similar to the health and the service records type in that you choose a horse, choose a record type, add in your information, but you must have mare or stallion assigned to your horses for them to populate the selection list. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. In our plus sign, we'll select record type breeding. In the horse menu, you will see all your mares and stallions are in here. So if we pick a mare and we pick our record type, we will see only the mare related record types available. Semen collection is grayed out. That is a stallion only type record. So let's go ahead and pick one of my stallions to add a collection record to. You can set the date, an account, which is a contact from your stable, price, quantity, count, if you put extender amount, intended recipient, which is a typable field, can be anything in there, intended mare, any name can go in there, any comments you need, any attachments you might want to add click save. As always, it'll give us the pop-up. And then we will see he's got his collections records on it. So for mares, you'll notice I have two that are listed as pregnant right here at the top. In the online platform, in the pregnancies form page, there is a way to manually add pregnancies or you can do that by selecting a breeding record type of pregnancy check and you can set any date that you did the check but if you put a number of days in foal on here and click save it will save if you resync the app so it dials out. You will notice Libby has now added the green highlight. So we're going to go revisit that form because I blew through it kind of past, fast. Pick another of my mares. Additional fields you can fill in. Ultrasound notes, medication notes, as always comments and attachments. So what about if you want to view breeding records as a report. Online, there is a whole selection of breeding reports available. You have to do it in a little more roundabout way than the app, which would be through a horse activity report, which say you want to look at just one horse, you are able to scroll to the bottom of their listed stuff, view recent activity, and so you can set the filters, but it automatically selects the horse. So I have it set to the past year. You can see all the kinds of stuff is in here, but we want to filter to a specific record type. Breeding is not just one icon to pick. You can pick the actual breeding record type. So let's say, well, I want to see when I logged her ovulations and it will load up and say, oh, yep, we marked it down in April and we marked it down in May. Say, okay, cool. Now I would like to see insemination records. When did we uh, AI here? I, I'm, and you can see, oh, we did it a couple days after we marked ovulation. You can click it to see, you know, the information on there. You can change the insemination type, which would be AI, fresh, frozen. ICSI live cover or other. I mark them all as AI. And if you had to make any edits, you would do it here and click update. If you needed to delete a record, you would press the trash can. And that's a little bit of adding and viewing breeding records in the mobile app. For additional functions to breeding records, please watch our other video, adding and managing breeding records online.